Femi, I want to talk about the perfect CRO team structure. What types of team structure have you encountered in your experience so far with CRO teams? That's a very good question. And the team structure will determine the success of your business when it comes to increasing profit, revenue and growth. So let me start with a story so you can understand what the CRO landscape looks like and then you can understand how you can get to the perfect CRO team structure. So as a freelance consultant a few years ago, I spoke to one of the industry gurus when it comes to CRO. This individual I'm not going to mention, but he's very, very popular. He's been doing CRO forever. So he had a client that he wanted to hire a freelancer for. And then I was, I was happy when he emailed me that <clears throat> I've made the list to be interviewed. So I went to the interview. Oh, this guy is one of the best in the world. Da 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 da. And at the interview, he brought in a list of questions. He was asking me about, have I done this? So he was asking me things that I, in all honesty, that I've not heard about before. And I realized quickly that he was a thought leader in A-B testing. And it's more like just having one tool, which is the hammer. In all the interview, he never ever asked me about profit growth. <laughs> He never asked me about post-purchase flow. He never mentioned customer experience, digital customer experience. So it, it made me wonder like, okay, these are the industry gurus that the whole CRO community look up to. And he's not even mentioned email marketing. He's not mentioned paid advertising, how you can improve it. So to answer your question, the perfect CRO team depends on your organization and the level you're operating. If you're a small business, you cannot have a CRO team. You need to have the perfect CRO agency. And if you're an agency, you need to have a structure that also embraces your clients, the in-house team. So it's complex. So to have a perfect CRO team, we then need to look at the skills needed for CRO. CRO has grown over the years and I'm not entirely happy at how CRO has been positioned as just A-B testing, A-B testing centric. And the key skill for CRO, if you're looking at what the thought leaders are suggesting is to be very good with A-B testing, but the perfect CRO team needs Google ads acquisition. It needs SEO. It needs branding, top of the line, offline advertising. It needs stakeholder management when you're talking about product teams, UX teams, legal. And when you're talking about what else you're talking about, even compliance. So all this is what de determines a perfect CRO team. And I'll give you another example. I worked with a client once where we had a squad where we had all these individuals that I've mentioned in a squad and the CRO was the person championing that. So we had like bi-weekly meetings where before a test goes live or the roadmap was visible to everyone, um, legal had to be on board, compliance had to be on board, UX had to be on board, content had to be on board. So that is quote unquote, the perfect CR routine because CR by itself is impacted by top of the funnel, where the traffic is coming from, and is also impacted by post purchase. But because the way CR routines are built currently is just A-B testing centric. And in some instances you have CR routine that don't even speak to the email marketing. But a lot of this is because most teams, marketing teams, are not designed specifically. They're just organic. They just happen randomly. So you have Google Ads sitting in another department. You have web analytics sitting somewhere else and you have CRO sitting somewhere else. So to have a perfect CRO team in-house, sometimes it needs to be intentional. It needs to come from the head. And 
it's not about bringing people into the team, but it's about working in a way of working that is agile in the squad method. That is the perfect CRO team. And why is it important for businesses or organizations to even be intentional about CRO teams? Being intentional is for you to get the result. You need to be intentional because whatever you're trying to achieve, something or someone within one team is going to be slowing down the sequence and the ways of working. So a good example is if you're an agency, for example, and you're working with an in-house team, sometimes you make recommendations, but you don't have the, the, the ability to ensure that that thing gets implemented. So those kind of relationships, you need to design it. So even if you're hiring an agency, for example, you need to look at the two types of agencies when it comes to CRO. Agencies that have CRO on their websites, but don't do CRO. Agencies that have CRO, but the person implementing it is quite junior and quite basic. So the best agencies, in my opinion, when it comes to CRO is where the person within the agency that is implementing CRO has years of experience. You know, as people move up the ladder and get into senior positions, some people who just go into management, but some people like myself enjoy that hands-on approach. So someone like myself that has more than 10 years experience of SEO, paid search, analytics, CRO, and UX, when I'm implementing or auditing CRO from, for, for, a, for a client, I'm looking at it through many lenses. So your ideal CRO team in a situation where you're not as big, you need someone with T-shaped skills, someone that can speak to the Google Ads and work with them to optimize Google Ads to make sure that you're not just blasting, pray, spraying and praying traffic to the website. That person also needs to be able to speak to SEO, to be able to speak to brand, to understand value proposition, to understand UX as well. Because UX is quite important because sometimes some websites don't even have as much traffic to be able to even do A-B testing. And you see people just slapping A-B testing and hoping for the best. So in that kind of a situation, you need to be able to pick the tool that works for you. You need to look at UX. Do you need usability testing instead of A-B testing? So what I'm saying in essence is the perfect CRO team from an, from an agency standpoint is you need to find someone with years of experience that is not myopic in just believing it's all about A-B testing. Like the individual I mentioned that interviewed me uh, a year ago or two years ago, I was stunned because I was like, is this the thought leader, the CRO community that doesn't even ask questions about post-purchase, that doesn't even ask questions that are really, really important so for me, that perfect CRO team, when you're hiring an agency, just make sure you do your due diligence. You can just go on LinkedIn, look at the agency, look at the staff that they have, look at the experience. Just don't look at their title, look at each individual doing CRO, look at the previous role that they've had, and you can then gauge that, okay, does this agency talk about full funnel optimization or is it just A-B testing? Does this agency embrace and appreciate UX, embrace and appreciate post-purchase nurture optimization that is where we then come down the path that your perfect CRO agency is actually supposed to be a digital experience agency that understands that full funnel and what about in-house teams are there some specific roles for building CRO teams in-house and what are the skills if you want to build CRO teams in-house <coughs> as I said you can get someone that has a background in conversion rate optimization ideally A-B testing, but you then need to develop that person to appreciate and embrace the importance of top of the funnel optimization. That person needs to be a subject matter expert to some extent in Google ads, SEO, social media, and even top of the line <coughs> marketing, your, your, what you call print marketing as well. That person needs to be able to sit down and take a brochure and optimize that brochure that when people read that brochure, when they land on the website, they're actually going to convert. That person needs to be able to appreciate <clears throat> that offline brick and mortar store is important to your business growth. 
not someone that would just focus primarily on just A-B testing. That's a recipe for disaster. So for in-house teams, I would recommend your perfect CR routine would en en encapsulate, if that's a word, <laughs> will be a combination of multiple teams coming together as a squad. And that team would then be your digital experience team. <clears throat> so between agency and in-house, which structure or which approach delivers better results in your experience? The pros and cons to that. When you talk about agencies, agencies come with a wealth of um, experience because they have multiple um, industry experience. They have multiple clients, so they bring those experience to you. The con to agencies is they have multiple clients. And sometimes, as I mentioned earlier on, it's a junior person that is implementing it. So, but you're, like I said earlier on, you ideally want someone with years and years of experience. You actually want someone senior in conversion rate optimization to be the person actually working on your campaign when you're hiring an agency. So with in-house, you would need agency support in most instances. If you're like a small e-commerce store, you're not going to hire a CRO person, a UX person, an analytic person, and all those squad that I mentioned. So ideally, it's better for you. If you can afford to hire someone in-house, that person would just be one person, but I would recommend a hybrid approach. And you, in the past, I've worked as a consultant with in-house team. So a hybrid model is the best approach. Like, as I said, agencies will bring you a wealth of knowledge. So if you need help recruiting, interviewing people for your in-house um, CR routine, reach out to me. And if you need help with agency selection as well, we can help you with that. So, but ideally just connect with me on LinkedIn and shoot me a message and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.